Hey, you guys, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and um, I'm here with a channel message. Um, I'm not gonna pull cards or anything for this message, you guys, because it was actually um, given to me in my dreams today. Um, <clears throat> so, the in my dream, you guys, there was this woman, okay? Whoever, first of all, whoever this message is for, you may already um, assume that your significant other, which in my dream um, is a male, okay? Very muscular, nice physique. You assume that he is bisexual, okay? He don't have to be muscular or anything like that, but in the dream, the guy that I saw just had a really nice body. You could tell that he worked out a lot, okay? All right. So, um, in the dream, it's like I was able to see and like witness everything that went down. Um, before I, before I came to you guys with the channel message, I wanted to, well, I consulted with Spirit to make sure I had all the details right so that I can give you guys the appropriate messages where I can tell it the way that it really is so all right and I'm sorry if you if you guys hear the wind is really up and howling in the back tonight is real windy and cold here in Dallas okay so so long story short I saw this woman she was like on the phone with this with her husband she didn't know where he was but he was like in this pool with this guy who is supposed to be like her, his friend or something or somebody he worked with. I just, I think they just kind of was masquerading it off like as a friendship, but they are really um, intimate lovers. Okay, they are lovers. So anyway, he was telling her, trying to explain to her that, um, he does not have a sexually transmitted disease. It was like he was going out of his way to make her feel like um, he don't have a sexually transmitted disease, you guys, okay? So, whoever the wife is, she wasn't buying it. Like, she just wasn't buying it. Um, He said that he went and got tested, whoever this, oh, y'all saw that perfect circle that just came from my thing? He's, he, he claimed that he went and got tested. So, whoever this is for, your person, could have claimed that they went and got tested and everything and that everything is fine but um actually what i saw is that this masculine energy has herpes and in the dream the woman which was his wife she said she told him to clean his penis off she said clean your penis off and get a lighter and put a lighter next to your penis and he did it like i watched him do it he did it and his penis is just a whoosh. Like it just caught on fire. It was so, the flame was so rapid. And that's symbolic to burning, someone burning. So all of this was going down in the spiritual realm, I feel. Or I was just like allowed to see it. Okay, so he couldn't deny it. At this point, he was caught. So whoever this person is, they're about to be caught. Okay, you're about to catch them, whoever this is for. This 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 man went out of his way to prove that he's not he doesn't have a sexually transmitted disease. Okay, so also the man did not know that the feminine energy or the wife knew that he was bisexual. She knew that he was somewhere with the man that he shouldn't have been. You guys. So she tells him, well. I know that you have herpes. I know that you're there with your gay lover. And she was like, fuck you and fuck your fake ass friend that's with you that's really your gay lover. That's what she said to him. Okay, so fast forward in the um in the dream, you guys. They her husband popped up at the house with his friend, aka his gay lover, and you can tell that the gay lover was way more angry with his wife than her husband was. The gay lover, 
I don't know. I don't I don't remember if it was the gay lover or if it was the or if it was her spouse. Let me see. Spirit, who was it that did this? I'm gonna say who was it? Was it the gay lover? Was it the lover that did this to this woman's spirit? No. It was her spouse, the hierophant. This is commitment. Okay. Her spouse. So whoever this is, the spouse beat the wife. It was like he was trying to prove innocence to her. He got angry and he ended up slapping her. There was blood, like he busted her face, her mouth and stuff. Ultimately, like he ended up tying her to a bed because he was panicking. He didn't know what to do because he was about to lose her. He was about to lose his wife, lose everything because she found it out. Like she found out, she figured out that he was gay and that he has herpes. Okay. And this is a marriage. This is a marriage with the her with the herpes, with the hierophant card. It was, it was the spouse that, that physically abused the partner. Okay. Um, long story short, the there I picked up a lot of rage off of the gay lover, the friend that he was messing around with. So when she came to her face was messed up. She was tied to a bed, you guys. She was like trying to reach and grab a phone so she can call 911 and get help. His friend called her, called her. So the friend, the fake friend, the one that he was really screwing around with caught him not being in the room like he must was in a room doing something else in another room caught him slipping caught her trying to call 911 and he climbed on top of her and suffocated her to death so i witnessed him kill this woman the husband comes back in the room and he panics and he was just like you know why did you do that to my wife like why did you kill my wife like that see the gay lover is really a karmic Okay, that's what they're saying. This gay male lover is a karmic who really wants to take the life of the wife so that he can have the man full term. Well, in the dream, he ended up killing her. Really, I feel like both, both were in on it because her husband physically assaulted her because he was angry, tied her to a bed, left her unattended with his friend that he really was screwing with the whole time the friend just sees his opportunity to to kill her that's what he did he put his hand over her nose and her mouth and he suffocated her and she died and i remember her eyes being open looking at the ceiling like he didn't even close her eyes or whatever and i remember her husband climbing over there with her crying because he was devastated that the person that he trusted as aka his lover killed his wife okay so oh, long story short i consulted with spirit it took me all day you guys so i wanted to make sure that i had my ducks in a row 818 as i'm saying this they said that it is a warning this has not happened yet it is someone that follow me you are a viewer that follow me you are married to this man this isn't just um, somebody you screwing with you guys are married to them or this is a higher level of commitment meaning you've been with them for a long time you feel like you have a soul connection with this with this man you will die if this man is put in the wrong type of like compromising position where he feels it's going to come out publicly well you won't die okay if you heed this warning not to trust your husband or this person and and especially the the gay lover who really really wants to take you out because this is a karmic the karmic this karmic was assigned to take you out that's that's this is this is this karmic's whole mission is to take you out so let me take that back you won't die i'm sorry you won't that's why spirit put me here to give you a warning give you a heads up okay this is your warning all right do what you have to do to protect yourself if you find out or you find out for facts that your husband or whoever has herpes and that they are involved with a with a uh, lover of the same sex if you confront him about it you just need to be careful because this is somebody who i feel like they have a lot to lose they um they care about what other people think they don't want this to get out 
They don't want this to get out. The lover wants you gone so that they can have you like they can have the the, the um your husband or your partner to themselves. Okay. All right. So just a heads up, just a warning. Do what you got to do to protect yourself. Move in silence. You know what I'm saying? Just be careful. Be careful, you guys. Okay. Um. Don't trust. Don't trust. Don't trust your partner. Don't trust their friend. Do not fucking trust them. Okay. Um. This is somebody. Spirit is saying that they hang with. They hang with this person. They work out with this person. Like they do a lot of stuff with this person, and they you think that this is your this their friend. It's not their friend, they're lovers. So whoever this is for. Um reason how I know they work out together is because the other masculine energy has a nice physique as well. Okay. So I know they spend time at the gym together and stuff a lot. All right, so there was another channel message. Um, I, I bumped into, as I was traveling through the um, the spiritual realm, I went from one scene and it's like I was I was just, I bumped into a gypsy, okay? Um, older lady, she had her hair wrapped up. She appeared to be talking out of her head. Uh, people was in the, in, the, in the 5D, they just, they walked past her. They didn't say anything to her. But I feel into it. I felt energetically drawn to speak with her. So I spoke with this, 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 this gypsy. This I don't want to call her a gypsy, but she was like, um, she was very gifted, very powerful lady in the five D. And um, she spent some time here on the earthly realm. You guys, um, you may see her just standing around. She appeared to be homeless, like she's lost her mind. Um, a lot of people get blessings for being kind to her. You see what I'm saying? It's not always about money, but a lot of people get blessings for being kind to her. So she likes to come over to the earthly realm to test people. See what I'm saying? Um, you wouldn't know her. Well, you wouldn't know her, but I'm going to describe her to you if you ever see her. She's black. She's kind of heavy set. She had her hair kind of like wrapped up in like a scarf type of attire the, when I saw her. She may look differently because just because I'm describing her to you guys, you know, she would definitely come in a different form. That energy would come in a different form. And it don't have to be a black lady. It could be any race. It doesn't matter. But she, she likes to come to the spiritual realm and masquerade as a homeless person. And to see who's going to give from a pure space, who's going to be kind to her, who's going to be gentle with her. Okay. Um, and that's, and that's how she knows who's worthy of certain blessings. Okay. Well, anyway, she was telling me that there's a masculine energy who is manipulating people out of money. Um, I, I don't know if he's religious or is he spiritual. I think he's spiritual. He's supposed to be spiritual. You guys, I don't know, but he's like leading people wrong and he's taking their money from them. And she said that whoever this masculine energy is for, and if they're not spiritual, it could be somebody, a masculine energy around you. Um, no, she's, she's saying he's spiritual. So he's supposed to be spiritual, okay? This is somebody who act like they're awakened. Um, and she said that this masculine energy is receiving five years of bad luck. Five years of bad karma for stealing from people. That's what she said. That he's stealing and he's not giving back. And she, it was something else that she said. It is a blur to me. I can't really remember. I should have got up and wrote it down. It's something else that he's about to do and that he's thinking about doing it. And she was like, if he do it, it's going to accumulate more karma. That he's not going to get to crop pass through. When he transitioned over, she said, God is not going to allow him to transition over into paradise, meaning his soul will be stuck here. So this is someone who's supposed to be in a higher level of position or authority spiritually, but his soul is going to be stuck here until he corrects his problems. It's until he correct what he did possibly for five years. I don't know who this is for. This also could be someone that you know. I don't know, you guys, but she spoke of it was a man for sure. She said that God isn't going to let him through. 
she said he's not going to get to pass over to cross over and not and she said that i i said who's not going to let him cross over and she said god so and she said five years of karma for this masculine energy. So this person may not even be spiritual. Maybe they're supposed to be spiritual, but they chose a wrong path. Y'all hear that wind howling? This is someone who um, chose a wrong path. They chose a darker side and they use people for money. They use people for financial gains. They're receiving five years of karma. And if they transition, because I feel like death is on this person for some dirty things that they did, like their karma has caught up with them for their dirty deeds. She said that God is not going to allow this person to cross over. They're going to be forced to, be, to stay stuck here until they correct what they did, the what they tore down in people's lives. So, all right. All right, you guys, that's all the channel messages I have for today. Uh, I'll be sure to get more content out. Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope you guys are safe wherever you are. I hope you guys are writing down the things that you're going to accomplish in 2020, okay? We are holding no, no prisoners, okay? I'm serious, for real. So whatever we write down, we assassinating that shit. We're taking, we're, we're getting it done, okay? We're taking it out. All right. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Until next time. Peace.